Hey everybody, hope everybody's doing good today. May you all be blessed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I'm just here chilling in my bed, I'm listening to all the craziness going on. Um, all these prophets, they claim that God is speaking to all of them about Trump and Trump is gonna, you know, I'm not even gonna mention much because um, YouTube is to the point where I put a video up and they like they did something to two of my channels and it, the censorship is going crazy. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Um, I don't think that the Lord's priority is elections. I think that the Lord is more concerned with his lost sheep. Um, like there are so many people out there who are in churches, who are mighty pastors or prophets and the church are full. And yet these pastors and prophets are operating by the power of evil spirits. Yet some of them don't even know that it's an evil spirit um, giving them certain powers. Um, I don't speak just to speak. I speak based on, on experience because I was one that um, I thought I was operating under the Holy Spirit. I was receiving revelations. Um, I was receiving um, discernment of spirits. Um, I, I was receiving like faith and I thought it was the spirit of God. This was years ago. And, and I guess God taught me that, um, the difference, because I've also, of course, felt the spirit of God, how it operates in joy and how it gives you visions and all that. And whenever the spirit of God will give me a vision, I will feel tremendous joy as opposed to years later, when this evil spirit was on me, a spirit of divination, I guess, every time it would like show me something i would feel fear there was no joy i was always in fear and fear but because i didn't know much the difference until now you know I, I was thinking maybe it's the spirit of god you know and believing everything that it was showing me and all that but it wasn't the spirit of god so um i remember that at one point it started to tell me that jesus christ was only a man that jesus christ wasn't real you know, like he wasn't really the son of God, that he didn't have the power to help me um, with my sins that I have. And of course, I I, I, um, I went into a despair fighting it. No, no, no. Jesus Christ, the son of God. But I like like it put me in a state of, of losing like hope, you know, because it, it, it truly put me in, in great despair. Um, and it's a horrible feeling, but you were able to feel so many things. You felt good just because you felt the power. I was able to discern spirits. I was, I felt when there was the angels in my room, when Jesus, when the devil was there on there. So I'm thinking, oh, that was God, you know, but it wasn't. And a lot of people operate in spirits like that. And like I tell you, some of them know, some of them don't know. And that's why you have to be very careful nowadays, very careful. This whole thing with the president, I'm not going to um, state because, hey, God does operate in strange ways. But I don't see God, God operates through whomever he wants. But I don't think that God is going to operate through people who call themselves prophet. And the only thing they've done is deceive people by... um. And they're all interconnect. If you notice, they all Paula White. Um, I don't remember most of the name, but they all connected. You know, like like um, who was that big one that that supposedly was raising people, doing miracles, and it, it's all a scam. You don't hear much from him. I think he was Indian. Benny Hinn. Benny Hinn. You know, Benny Hinn was a lie. You know, and the people they 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 they. they they feed on the poor, on the poor people, you know, trying to look for God, looking for hope and trying to, trying to, you know, looking at these people like, oh, they're from God. They get deceived. They get their money taken. And that's what most of them preachers have, have done. You see them with jets, with big houses while we live in poor. Because, you know, I understand, you know, the sheep are not to blame, you know, they're blind, they're hopeless. They're trying to find their God however they can, but, you know, once everything happens and we see that all the world, their words um, fall, because if they're not for God, they're going to fall. You know, they're going to fall. They have no excuse. There's no, they cannot say that it was because of us, because we voted for them, um, for, for Biden, Biden, whatever, it, because you know that God will stand. No matter who comes against, 
nobody could win against God. So if it doesn't happen and they start with difficult, they're going to look for excuses. You're going to see a lot of people are going to delete videos and, and stuff like that. I have a couple of them who I know who they are. So when they delete them, I'm going to call them out on it. And they're going to try to change the story. But all I'm telling you is once you see this fail, then you know they're fake prophets. They are not of God. They talk on their own mind and it's not, oh, I'm sorry. You know, I heard wrong. No, it's they're fake. They're fake. They steal your money and that's what they've been doing. They're fake prophets and the Lord is, re is, is revealing it. He's making it pl plain. He's, he's, he's showing their nakedness before the sheep. So that way the sheep have no excuse to say, oh, well, I follow them because I thought, no, the Lord made it clear to you that they're fake. You have no excuse. If you continue to follow them, it means that you got no part of God because you are not stupid. Okay. You got, you got reasoning and you know, when a, it says that in the Bible, how will you know? You know, one way is to test the spirit. Another way is if they say something and it fails, God said it clearly. I don't remember if it was Jeremiah or Isaiah, but God said it. If it don't come to pass, then that prophet did not, then the Lord did not speak through that prophet. So it's clear. So if all this fails, Okay, on inauguration day, remember, they've been saying that is inauguration, that this guy, the 45th president, is going to have it. There's not going to be no inauguration, all this false nonsense. I guarantee you they're going to move it, and they're going to say that it's after inauguration. When it fails, they're going to say, oh, no, it's after inauguration, and they're going to keep feeding you people, whoever falls through their lives, then you deserve to get robbed by them because you're not stupid. As soon as you see it fails, it fails. So even they got me to the point where I'm starting like to believe. I'm like, oh Lord, how about if you're speaking to them? But then it's like God gave us reasoning. And these people been stealing. How is God gonna use these people that are stealing from his sheep? You know, they talk about Jesus, but they're stealing from from putting his sheep to believe in false things, to believe in them. They wanted God's sheep to worship them. So, like I said. We're going to see this this video, as you can see, I made it today. It's, it's I think, the 14th, January 14, 2021. So I'm not going to erase my, my, my video. Whether it happens or not, I'm going to leave my video. So I'll take criticism. But I don't think I'm going to have criticism. These people are false. They're fake prophets. They've always been. They steal from people. They're vipers. That's all they, they, they've done. They let the sheep of God astray. A lot of them might be, again... You know, working evil spirits might be working through them. And that's how it is. It's greed. They're about greed. Um, but it's fine. You know, that's how it is. Just I want you guys to be aware of this, man, and be smart. And once you see the truth, you have no excuse. Stop following these people. Stop um, watching these people because they're all fake. God is going to bring real people. God is going to revive. And he's going to bring laborers with his true spirit because God is good. I know that God is not going to expose this fake prophets and then leave people with, with nothing to hope. God is raising real people. He's going to raise them up. He's going to exalt them. And he's going to put them so everybody knows the real, pe the real people of God, real servants. You know what I'm saying? He's going to have real pastor, real prophets, real healers. The Lord will give his spirit the way it was in the, in the Bible. The problem is right now is just pure corruption out there. Pure corruption. But the Lord is good. And he is merciful. And I've been praying for everybody. I've been praying for all of y'all. I've been praying for the lost sheep right now. For him to come and get his lost sheep. For he promised me a long time ago that I was his sheep. And he also is going to come for his sheep. He said that many of the pastors he entrusted to his sheep. You know, the, those pastors have led those sheep astray. They let them astray. They let them be lost because they don't care about their sheep. They just care about them fattening themselves with money and all that. And don't care about the sheep. So God made sure he told me he himself was coming. So they re get, get ready for an awakening. Real people of God with his real spirit is going to come. God is going to send them. And I continue to pray. And, and because God is real, people. God is real. Jehovah God is our father. The father of our Lord Jesus Christ also. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ who died for us. Okay, Jesus Christ died so we may be forgiven and accepted this day so we could go before Jehovah God. You understand? So praise be to the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless everybody watching this video right now and those 
those who are lost in the world who are now watching i pray man that his spirit may reach reach them and, and they may be in awakening them so they can accept the truth and come to salvation praise be to our father in heaven almighty so y'all take care and like i said this video is going to be here 10 minutes of it i gave hopefully it doesn't get blocked or anything like that but you guys have a jesus christ blessed night